So guys, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you the selection of those perfumes I've been enjoying the most this summer season. So make sure to keep on watching this video to find out everything about them and don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as feel free to subscribe to my channel because it's extremely important and helpful for me and once you're done with that, we can get started. So hello and welcome everyone to today's top list of my ultimate summer favorite fragrances. By the way, let me know about your sample in the commentary section and I will try to keep this video short but informative. So let's get started with a new addition in my collection that is called Tennis Club by the brand Corner Barcelona. And as you can probably tell, this is a very green perfume that actually starts off quite bitter because of the note of patty green that is a little bit grassy, especially because it's mixed with citrus notes but then you'll get also like sea breeze over the white flowers such as neroli and orange blossom and in the dry down sunny note of musk that rounds everything but there is also a little bit of a synthetic note that reminds of a tennis ball and unlike many other green fragrances it doesn't feel leafy so it is quite long lasting and as you might remember green perfumes are not my favorites but I find them very nice in the summer when it is really hot hot and this has been my go-to. So in case you want something original and green, definitely check it out. By the way, in case you want to save some money and get some great fragrances, then definitely check out the description box down below. There you'll find my discount and all the health information. But on that note, let's move on to another freshie, which is Ani X by Nishani. And you might remember that I'm a huge fan of the original Ani, but this is its version for the summer. Extremely refreshing with notes of lemon and bergamot really popping in the opening, also a mix of spices and aromatic tones that live the composition. There is cardamom, pink papa, stimulizing note of ginger. Everything is super nice for the summertime. A little bit of a green apple crispiness, some black currant juiciness, watery nuance coming from melon and very round, musky, woody and even vanilla but not sweet base. So in case you are looking for a great refreshing summertime fragrance for a special occasion because the performance of this one is unbeatable. It feels in the room, it will bring you lots of attention because it feels niche, it feels extremely catchy. People will come up to you, will ask you about you. I've already sold this fragrance to so many of my friends so in case you want to get something truly luxurious and likable at the same time, unique and special in the niche style. Anya X is the one I can recommend and I believe you can still get it at So Avant-Garde and my discount should be valid. So with that being said, now let me tell you about the fragrance I've been loving to wear to the office when it has been really hot and it doesn't look like I've got lots of uh, wear days out of Synergy by Cytologia, but believe me, I did. Because this perfume opens almost like with a tropical refreshing cocktail element coming from pineapple, mango, peach, apple, pear, there are a lot of fruity tones and unlike many other fruity fragrances that I find great for the summer because they are so fun, bright, juicy, refreshing, this one has a bit of a Bacabra Rouge DNA, I'm guessing because of the saffron, amber and crystallized oak mass, but it doesn't feel too medicinal, that was my issue with Bacabra Rouge, it's not its dupe because it has like a unique thing with all those fruity notes going on, but almonds give it like a bit of a powdery, yeah, crispness, so it's clean, it is very catchy and mess appealing and not too much for hot summer days even at the office, so yeah, that has been my go-to for those occasions, but for the ones when I was going out or I wanted to have some fun, you know, we had a Barbie movie that everyone was so obsessed with and I've already shared with you kind of like a Barbie top list, but unfortunately I missed out on the actual Barbie fragrance that they released for Zara, so in case you happen to see it back in stock, let me know about that because I still want to get that fragrance that actually got compared to my ultimate favorite love, don't be shy. And this is actually a fantastic garment for the summer days because it's juicy 
and just very sweet and I like those type of fragrances when it's hot maybe I'm weird let me know about you do you prefer something fresh and crisp or actually sweet and gourmand for the summertime but I keep this one for special occasions because it is extremely expensive and I was really happy to discover this brand perfume oil expression that has such an amazing take on love don't be shy by the way it comes in this roll-on format that I love anyway because it's such a different way wearing perfumes that I highly recommend you to check out in case you haven't done that already and in here I got like splash of neural in the opening that is extremely nice especially when it's hot but overall it's the same idea very juicy note that is also caramelized and vanillic so it's truly gourmand, it is very addictive and it is a compliment getter that just sets up a very positive mood. So for those hot days, I've been loving this one, whether like a base layer or on its own, it's fantastic. But for some nights out when I was feeling a bit bougie, I was wearing Gossip Night by Gritty. And this is such a phenomenal kind of gourmand fragrance that also has some freshness uh, because of the lychee and white peach. But it's extremely textural, very powdery, because Hila Drop gives it almost like a makeup -y touch. And that then it turns creamier because of the wiped cream, caramel, vanilla, almost um, getting like tonic and powdery because in the dry down you'll get a lot of white mask. So I've been loving to wear it if I had like a night out because, well, it's in the name and it's in the heart of this perfume. So I can only recommend you this one because it's juicy, it's powdery, it's gourmand and if you have similar taste to mine then you will like it. But the one I've been wearing on repeat just for every day, it's Deja Vu by Tia Cabanel. You guys, this is such a unique gourmand perfume that I've already shared with you many times before because I love the opening of it so much. In there you will get a true bubblegum note. Big, juicy, pink, but really high-pitched because there is a note of citron, which is not your typical citrusy note. And both bubblegum and citron, they can be sharp. However, there is raspberry that brings them together. And although this is a very fun opening, the fragrance is so dramatic, it changes quite a bit. And there are flowers, but it's not floral. There are animalic notes, but it's not animalic. It's such a unique and at the same time wearable and also enjoyable fragrance for the summertime that is optimistic, that's fun. So if you want to check out something truly special, I would highly recommend you to do so. But I was also really impressed with this next fragrance because I actually got just a sample of uh, Carousella by Olympic Orchids. And when we sprayed it with Benny, it's just like such an amazing feeling because it smells exactly like a soda drink uh, that has a great flavor and I'm not kidding you I was interested in it because of the notes that but there was white wine accord however it's not woozy it's the scent of bubbly soda drink and I'm getting the note of grape so much that I really want you just to go on Aquasion Natural web shop and get a sample of it just for the moment of uh, it putting the biggest smile on your face when you smell it for the first time. I bet no one talks about it on YouTube but I find this is such a great perfume for the summer season. It is a little bit green, it is a little bit floral but the note of grape in there that is bubbly and fizzy is just spot on and unbeatable. So it has been our favorite for the summer season but you know the weather has changed now. It's rainy, it's windy so I've been reaching for more cozy fragrances and the one I keep on wearing on repeat is this Endorphin by Hormone Paris that I discovered at Exxon's and was so impressed with the collection of perfumes that are all inspired by different hormones and this is the positive one of happiness and you know what, this is the fragrance that um, is very much in my style, you know, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's twisted, a little bit floral with nice depth and texture, very hard to describe, it kind of captures the essence of modern fragrances without being similar to one of them. So this is a fantastic perfume that you can make your signature scent. It feels really luxurious. It is not too heavy, but at the same time, you know, it is long lasting. So I've been wearing it now just during the day, into the evening, into the night, because it's just a bit 
on the powerful side but talking about fragrances like that you guys I definitely need to mention this kryptonite that has wowed me and we share it with my boyfriend and this is a very gentle like fragrance that has the creamiest note of sandalwood ever and in the opening there are aldehydes that are not typically soapy they just lift it up open it up and it's crisp but it's also very smooth I like vanilla in there that's gentle the almonds that are powdery so it's another cozy very alluring perfume that Benny loves as well for the extreme sillage that it gives and another flavor that we shared together is private edition from Amber Wood collection by Hermine and this has more of a summer vibe because you know there are so many beautiful fruity notes in there that are mixed with almost this modern ambery woodsy musky accord that is a bit similar to Erba Pura but it is not as harsh and just suffocating intense and overwhelming I find that it smells modern I find that it smells fresh clean and at the same time fun so in case you want a great perfume now for the late summer and also the beginning of fall I feel this is the one you can't go wrong with and we both like it a lot so with that being said now I think it's time to talk about some other favorites like I have here some perfume oils that are inspired by other popular fragrances from the brand Lux Order and I've been mentioning them on my channel here and there because I just love rolling them all over me and this fragrance Delina exclusive is obviously similar to the one by Perfums to Marley I like the crispness even the sharpness of fruits in the opening but it's like a big pink powder puff in a bottle for me the wood gives it a bit of a mystery and that has been my note obsession of the season together with tuberose that I'm surprised I'm not matching it right now but I have a lot of wood flavors and this is the one I've been living in these evenings because it feels really sugary and sweet it puts you in a beautiful not gourmand but very yummy very delicious sweet wood bubble and also with a bit of a middle eastern element without being too heavy so this is a very delicious fragrance I've been loving during evening and night time so it's definitely my most worn for you know that time of the day but talking about oud perfumes this oud Zanzibar is amazing for daytime because it's fresh oud mixed with some pineapple with spices it is extremely uplifting and very Oh yeah, it smells niche, you know, those niche fragrances, that oud character of perfumes that feels expensive, that's it. It smells really fresh, unlike many other oud perfumes, so it might surprise you. I was very pleased to discover it because it's not a heavy oud to wear when it's um, super hot and in case you're looking for the one like that I highly recommend you this but uh, you know what there is another fragrance I've been loving a lot and not to mention on my channel which is a shame so I'm here to talk about Green Butterfly by Byron which is such wow masterpiece in a bottle you guys all you've heard about is true this is kind of gourmand that's not sweet at all aldehydes in there mixed with even black chocolate with beautiful woody and creamy notes they make this fragrance smell like it's just you know an aura that's around you it's not a perfume you're not wearing anything you smell great like that on your own so this perfume is quite fresh it's clean uh, at the same time it's very very pleasant and uh, I haven't been like going crazy uh, on it it's not like the one I've been you know just messing around with over spraying layering with other perfumes but I've been wearing it to you know special occasions and I've been just enjoying myself I was just very pleased with it myself can't say that this is the most worn but one of the most loved ones and one of the biggest discoveries for me so I need to mention it because it's really something very special not being too strange you know what I'm talking about but the one that everyone liked because it's inspired by one of um, most mass appealing and uh, yeah mainstream fragrances black opium is um, Lux Order's perfume oil 
that is inspired by it and I've never understood that Yves Saint Laurent perfume because it used to be just too heavy for me by the way I've discovered this way of wearing roll-on perfume oils and it's just like my love just you know doing this I've already shown you that a couple of times but the fragrance yeah it smells like aphrodisiac with coffee with chocolate nuances there is pain there that makes it more delicious and not like a vanilla bomb but there is an amazing vanilla that's powdery that it is sweet you know it is really really sweet it gets in your mouth but at the same time it's well balanced and there is even a shower gel note which is very surprising to me personally so yeah another favorite of mine and i guess that completes this uh, top list to break down of my most favorite uh, niche perfumes for the summertime if you enjoyed it then give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe follow me on my social media share perfumes with my discounts and definitely drop a comment below i'm excited to hear from you and uh, on that note thank you so much for watching follow me on my social media to stay in touch and we'll see each other next one really soon bye guys